good day area moment method naman tayo okay and this is our part 2 of deflection and slope series okay from part 1 we solve a problem a beam problem using the double integration method okay now we will solve that the same problem using this area moment method okay recap yung ginawa natin from part 1 no so by the way nalimutan kong i-mention sa first part na yung lumabas dito is 8.03 positive this is somewhere from this point to up to this point okay so meaning pala dito the deflection at this point is nasa taas and the elastic curve dito is ganito yung itsura pag ganyan okay so actually hindi naman mali yung answer natin yung imagination lang natin sa elastic curve masyado pa lang malaki yung 10 kilonewtons para i-bend niya yung beam pag ganito pa up Okay, so let's start this using the, the, I mean, the area moment method. Okay, the same problem, but here you will calculate na lang the deflection and the slope at point A. Okay, now, um, let's um, discuss a little principle lang. Okay, consider a beam, and we will load that in this manner, and the beam will bend like this. Okay, and if we will draw to draw the moment diagram here, okay, assumption lang ha. And let's go on. Uh, pili tayo ng dalawang points between the elastic curve. Okay, let's say that is point A and that is point B. Then we will draw a tangent line at those points. Okay, tangent line. And these are the tangent at A and the tangent at B. Now, the deviation is. Uh, tingnan nyo muna ha. The deviation of this point of B from the tangent line of A is denoted as uh, tangential deviation. That is T deviation of B with respect to tangent line at A. Ganito yan, isulat. Okay? The deviation of B, so B yung nauna sa si taas, with respect to tangent line at A. Okay? And similarly, dito na mas kabila, ano ito? So, nasa A tayo. So, the deviation of A with respect to tangent line at B. Ayan. Okay. Now, how to calculate this deviation? Okay. So, we will project those points to the moment diagram natin. Okay. Since ito yung points na gusto nating malaman, dapat yung area diagram na gagamitin natin is the projected lang sa kanilang dalawang points. Okay. If um, the points that we are desired to calculate is itong A and B. So, lahat ng area ng moment diagram natin is gagamitin natin. Okay? Okay. So, ito. So, assuming the center of this area diagram is andito. And let's call this as bar XA. Okay? Now, to calculate the deviation of A with respect to tangent line at B is just this area, whole area nito, i-multiply natin ng moment arm. Mag, we will take moment about A. Kung A yung kukunin natin. Okay? So, that is deviation of A. That is the area of the moment diagram times the bar XA. Dito tayo magmo-moment. Okay? And i-multiply natin yan ng 1 over EI. Okay? Now, kung B naman, dito tayo magmo-moment sa B. So, area times the moment arm X bar, I, I mean, bar x sub b okay so that is just similar now um, this slope naman that is the change of the slope of bit um, between two tangent lines okay ito yung slope parang included slope nya and that slope is just similarly the, um, the same sila diba Th that is just the area of this moment diagram Okay? Tapos, i-divide mo lang yan ng EI. Okay ba? Now, the sign convention here, the deviation is positive if um, the deviation is above the tangent line. Okay, consider the deviation of B with respect to tangent line at A. The deviation is above this tangent line. So, that is positive. Sa kabila naman, that is also above the tangent line of B. So, that will be a positive. Okay, so definition and deviation, that is the vertical distance 
from the um, tangent line to the point to desired point of the elastic curve okay tandaan nyo distansya yan um, from the tangent line patungong elastic curve natin okay that is the vertical distance and the theta naman um, is, is the change of the slope of between two tangent lines okay and the sign convention here for theta so okay look at this the deviation and change in slope of the tangents are positive if ganito yung magiging itsura natin ganito yung bending okay so the theta the theta between uh, between two points will be positive if the beam is bent upward okay look at this the beam is bent upward so this two two theta here this theta ab is positive yan ang lalabas okay kailan ito magiging negative if baliktad yung bending ng beam okay consider this bending lang ito yung two tangent line and consider this as deviation of b tangent a so this deviation look at this this is below the tangent line of a so this is negative okay and this theta a b naman that is also negative because the beam is bended downward okay ba so kailan ba ito nangyayari at the kadalasan itong nangyayari yung negative when ganito overhang di ba magbe-bend yung beam pag ganito so nag-bend siya downward at this point okay then balik si taas okay ba okay so the sign convention is here the deviations and change in slopes of the tangents are negative okay let's start the problem so by the way the reactions is nasolve na natin to from part 1 sa uh, please panoorin niyo yung part 1 Okay, so assumption lang, the deviation, I mean the elastic curve is ganito. So actually, nasolve natin kanina na the elastic curve pala dito is nasa taas. Okay, nasolve na natin to from double integration. So let's assume lang, check naman natin. Okay, so ito yung desired natin na gusto makuha, no? Then also the slope of that point. So, ano yung gagawin natin? And look at this. Okay, if we will draw a tangent line from point C, Okay, imagination to ang um, area moment. Gagawa tayo ng geometric figure para ma-relate natin sa deviations. Okay, if this is a tangent line at C, and we can create a right triangle here. Okay, gagawa tayo ng geometric figures para mas ma-relate natin yung mga deviations. Now look at this. Diba, this is, ano yung definition na to? This is at point B. This is the deviation of B with respect to tangent line at C. Okay? That is deviation of B with respect to tangent line at C. And ito naman, that is the deviation of A. Take note, ang elastic curve ng A is nandito with respect to tangent line at C. Now, as you can see here, we can do the ratio proportion. This is to this length is equals to this is to this length. Okay? So, if masolve natin yung dalawa, makukuha na natin yung the uh, I mean the deflection at A. Okay ba? Okay, this is just an assumption pa. Ha? Hindi pa natin alam what is the exact elastic curve. Assumption lang to. Now, how to do that? We will draw the moment diagram. But what we, we will do here is moment diagram by parts. Hindi natin gagawin yung um, conventional moment diagram. Kasi masyadong mahirap pag ganun yung gagawin natin ang paglocate ng centroid. So what we will do here is to draw the moment diagram by parts. So in moment diagram by parts, kahit sa ang um, uh, point ng beam makaka reference tayo. Okay, kahit saan. Basta lang um, to make sure na hindi mahirap yung figure na magagawa natin. Kasi para hindi tayo mahirapan sa um, centroid. Okay, let's try. Let's um make this point as our reference point. Dito tayo mag-moment lahat. Okay. This is our reference point. Parang ginawa natin fix ito. Parang ginawa lang natin itong fixed point. Pwede rin dito. Dito. Pwede rin dito. But, dapat make sure na yung figure ng moment diagram natin is hindi mahirap i-locate yung centroids nila. Okay. So, unahin natin ito. 
we have here a reaction 16.25 that is going up. Beben niya yung beam upward, okay? And that is like this. That is just 16.25 times 2. Okay, this is a first degree curve because this 16.25 will create a um, zero degree curve on the shear diagram. Okay, take note we are in the moment diagram. Therefore, in the moment diagram, from zero to shear, magiging first degree to the moment diagram. Okay, 16.25 times 2. Next, this 10 kilonewtons meter naman, that will bend the beam downward. So that will be going down. Okay. Yun. That is just 10 times 3.5. Yun, negative because that is going down. Ito naman, 3.75. That will bend the beam in this point upward. So that will be 3.75 times 2. And that is 7.5. This naman, take note, this is a uniformly distributive load. So it will create 5 times 2 times the moment arm na 1. Okay, that will be 10 kilonewtons meter. Correct ba? And this is a second degree curve dapat. Okay, because this will cause a shear, a first degree shear. Then sa moment niya, dapat second degree yung curve natin. Okay, this is a parabolic spandre. Okay, so first, isolve natin yung A. A uh, deviation of A with respect to C. How to solve that? Diba the moment diagram... I mean, the deviation is just the moment of the area to, this, to the desired point. Ito yung desired point natin. Okay? So, since ang deviation of A with respect to tangent line at C, so dapat these two points, a project natin is moment diagram, this one. So, lahat ng area sa moment diagram is isasali is natin. Okay? But first, we will locate the centroids of this. Okay? Look at this. Uh, by the way, let's solve the area na lang. This area here is the area of the triangle. One half of 2 times 32.5. So, the area is 32.5. Okay? Now, the area here naman is one half of base that is 2 times 7.5. 7.5 rent. Dito naman sa ibaba, one half of, um, this is 3.5, diba? Times 35. So, that will be negative 61.25. Okay. So, area naman ito. Take note, this is a span drill. So, the area of the span drill, recall, that is one-third of base, that is 2, times negative 10. So, the area of this diagram is, is negative 20 over 3. Now, we are to, look, to calculate this. So, mag-moment tayo about point A. So, needed natin yung centroid sila. Okay. This one, the centroid is... This part here is just two-thirds of two. Okay? This is two-thirds of two plus 1.5. And that is 17 over 6 yung distance niya. Okay? How about ito? This one. So, this distance here up to this point, take note that is a triangle. That should be one-thirds of two. But we will take moment dito, i-add pa natin to. One-thirds of two plus 3.5. Okay? So, that will be 25 over 6. Okay, how about this one? The centroid is here. Okay, so this is just two-thirds of the 3.5. Okay, I hope na follow nyo, ha? And the span drill naman, this point, so the centroid of the span drill from the long side, that is one-fourth of the base. Okay, please recall that. That is the one-fourth of the base. One over n plus one. Okay, this is second degree, so n natin is 2. I mean, n plus 2 plus 1 over n plus 2. This is 1 fourth of 2 plus 3.5. Okay, I hope na pala nyo ha. Recall nyo lang yan. And that is 4 meters. Now, we can calculate na the deviation of A with respect to tangent line at C. That is just this mom area, a moment natin dito. Okay, so by the way, from this figure, we can say that the uh, ratio... Um, this is to that that is 5.5 is equals to this is to 4 okay ito yung main um, natin, um, equation para masolve yung um, A deflection at A okay the deviation of A with respect to tangent line is C that is just the summation gawin natin summation kasi 
hindi natin inisa yung moment diagram by parts ginawa natin. So, unahin natin ito. 32.5 times 17 over 6 plus 7.5 times 25 over 6 plus 61 minus 61.25 minus 7 over 3 plus negative, I mean negative 20 over 3 times 4. Yun. Moment lang. Every area nag-moment tayo dito. Then, it will be negative 185 over 4 EI. Okay, hindi ko nilagay yung EI dito ha. Dito na lang sa ibaba kasi masyadong mahaba. Now, look at this. Design niya. Negative. Diba? The deviation is positive if that is above the tangent line. So, look at this uh, our drawing. This is the tangent line. This should be positive. But lumabas dito is negative. Meaning, mali yung assumption. May mali dito yung assumption natin. So, hindi naman pwedeng yung deviation natin is below dito because the definition of deviation is the tangent line to the elastic curve. So, hindi pwedeng ito. So, ang correct dito pala is yung elastic curve natin na mali. Look at this. Okay? So, the correct elastic curve dito is ganito. Okay, assumption lang yun. Pero, di, makukuha naman natin yung correct. Ito yung elastic curve. So, masyadong graphical yung moment diagram. Okay. Now, tingnan nyo. What? Uh, ilagay natin yung tangent line at point C. Ito na yung tangent line niya. Yung correct tangent line. Okay. And similarly, gagawa tayo ng... Uh, by the way, ito yung deviation of A with respect to tangent line at C. Okay. That is negative. That is below the tangent line to the elastic curve. Okay lang? And gawa tayo ng triangle. And similarly, this is the deviation of... Ah, ilaga, la, ilabas natin. Let's isolate that. Okay, this part here is the deviation of B with respect to tangent line at C. Okay, so what is this distance here? Take note, this is the deviation of A with respect to tangent line at C minus, ito, minus the deflection at A. Okay, follow lang. Ito, minus ito, is ito yung matitira dito. And ito naman, ito yung deviation of B with respect to tangent line at C. Okay na. So, this is the correct um, scenario pala ng ating elastic curve. Okay. So, we can create, um, I mean, the we can use the ratio and proportion dito. Okay. By the way, that is 5.5 5 meters and this is 4 meters. And the correct ratio and proportion dito is ito, distance dito divided by 5.5 um, is equals to deviation of B with respect to tangent line at C over 4. Okay. So, ito yung correct. Kanina, mali yung assumption natin. But, na-check natin through this uh, answer ng deviation. Negative, dapat below the tangent line. Okay, so next, we must calculate the deviation of B. Okay, how to do that? So, deviation of B with respect to tangent line at C, dapat yung i-project natin na area is dito lang between these two points. Between this B to through C. So, the projected area dito is ito lang. Okay, so look at this. Okay, so these are the areas lang na kakailanganin natin for deviation of B. Okay, look at this ha. So, deviation ng B yung kukunin natin, itong areas na to, lahat ng areas, i-moment natin dito sa B. Okay, so take note, this is a trapezoidal. So, pwede na itong um, isahin natin ito, gawin natin isang buong trapezoid but mahihirapan tayo sa centroid ng trapezoid. Okay, if alam nyo naman, okay lang, diretso. But kung hindi, um, i-divide natin ito into two tri triangles. Okay, gagawin natin to para hindi tayo mahirapan sa centroid. Um, by the way, this point is just 10 times 1.5. And that will be 15, negative 15. Okay, that is 10 times 1.5 lang. Okay, so the area nito, kunin natin yung area nito. That is 1 half of 2 times 15. That is negative 15. How about the area of this triangle? That is 1 half times 2 pa rin times 35. Okay, that is 35 this dimension here. Okay, so we have these areas. Now, the centroids na location of the centroids. Let's unahin natin to. This is just um, 2 thirds of 2. Okay, that is just 4 thirds. Ito naman. So, this is 1 third of 2 plus and that is 8 over 3. So, this one, this one naman, that is just one third of 
2. That is just 2 thirds. Okay? So, ito naman, that is just 2 thirds of 2. Ayan. Okay, that will be uh, 4 thirds. And this point, that is just 1 fourth of 2 plus 2. Okay, that is 1 fourth of 2 plus 2. And that is 2.5. Now, we can take moment about the B na. Okay, so that will be 32.5 times 4 thirds plus 7.5 times 8 thirds plus minus 15 minus times 2 thirds minus 35 times 4 thirds minus 20 over 3 times 2.5. Okay, so that will be negative 10. So as you, you can see, that is negative because that is below the tangent line. Okay, now we can do this ratio and proportion. Ah. Yan. Substitute lang. The deviation of A is negative. At I mean, we will use the, ano, ha, the absolute values nila because ginawa natin silang distance dito from ratio and proportion. Okay? Pag nag ratio and proportion talaga tayo sa triangle, is gagawin natin yung absolute value. Okay, so substitute. And the, I mean, the uh, deflection of A is 32.5 kilonewtons meter cube divided by EI. Okay ba? So, this is just positive dito ha? But alam na natin yung um, orientation that is below the the neutral axis. Okay. So, the same. That is the same na nakuha natin from double integration. How about the slope of point A? Okay. Look at this. So, the slope at point A, iplagyan natin yan ng tangent line dito. So, that is just measured from the neutral axis. Okay. So, actually, hindi natin magagamit yung um, the change in slope na formulas dito. Kasi, mas pinakamadali dito is gawa tayo ng triangle ulit. Look at this. This triangle. So, this slope, we know that this slope is rise over run. That is just this distance here over run. Okay ba? So, look at this. This point up to this point, that is just the deviation of C with respect sa tangent line ng A natin. Okay. And this is just 5.5. So, the slope of point A is deviation of C with respect to tangent line at A plus, look at this, ano to? Plus the deflection of A. And then, i-divide natin ng distance. Yan yung slope ng A. Okay ba? So, medyo graphical yung um, solution natin ng area moment. Dapat, magaling ka talaga tumingin ng mga figures dito. Magaling kang mag-create ng figures. Okay? So, nakukuha naman yung kagalingan pag consistent yung practice natin. Okay? So, I need to calculate this one para makuha natin yung slope. So, take note, ito yung kukunin natin. So, and um, we are referring to these two points, A and C. So, lahat ng area natin dito is gagamitin natin. Okay? But our centroid, um, because we are to calculate the C, dito tayo mag-centroid sa C. Okay? So, this, by the way, i-isolate natin. Okay, so this is just the deviation of C with respect to tangent line of A plus the deflection of A. And this is 5.5. And we can conclude that the slope is eto. Okay, so this distance here is um, 1 thirds of 2 plus 2. That is 8 thirds. This one naman, that is just 2 thirds of 2. That is 4 thirds. And this one, that is just, take note, this is 1 thirds of 2. I mean, 1 thirds of 3.5 plus 2. Okay ba? This is 3.5 lahat. So, ito yung distance niya. And this one is, if this is 1 fourth of the 2, ang matitira dito is 3 fourths. Okay? That is 3 fourths of 2. Okay. So, taking moment about C, that is deviation of C with respect to tangent line at A, 32.5 times 8 over 3 plus 7.5 times 4 thirds minus 61.25 times 19 over 6 minus 20 over 3 times 1.5. And that will give us this answer. So, negative because that is below the tangent line. Okay? Now, we can calculate na this. So, take note, we will use the absolute value dito ha, pag nag ratio and proportion tayo. Kasi, ginawa natin siyang distance dito kasi. Okay? The negative signs natin dito is um, orientation lang yan. 
para malaman natin ano yung orientation niya from the tangent line. Okay, so calculating that. Okay, substitute ko lang ha. Ito. Then 32.5 divided by 5.5 and lalabas is 305 over 12 and that is the same sa double integration natin. Okay? So, hindi na natin i-locate yung maximum deflection between B and C dito kasi masyado ng mahaba. So, tip ko lang how to calculate that is, okay, di ba maglalagay tayo ng tangent line dito? So, i the, bit, uh, the slope between the tangent line at this point from A is the same. Okay? The same siya sa slope at A. So, uh, gawa ka ng relationship na ma-express mo yung equation mo dito with respect to x, distance x from this. Then, dapat ang ma-create na slope mo is the same dito. Dapat equal sila. Okay? We will not do it here na because masyado ng mahaba. Okay? So, that's it. So, again, thank you everyone. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe to my channel, like, and share. Click the bell icon para ma-notify kayo if mag-upload tayo ng mga panibagong tutorial. So, God bless everyone and stay safe.